Yeah, no counting out Matt yet. Um, he's definitely more than capable of still winning this match. So it's very exciting to see what will happen. Um, always great to hear from Ari and hear the way he thinks about the game because he's very analytical in nature. Uh, whereas Matt is also very analytical, but with some creativity, some confidence, some some fireworks. He really makes for good uh, TV. <laughs> Finding that quagmire play earlier in the day sure was Yeah, beautiful. that was amazing. Yeah, Matt's going first, and he's drawn just one vowel, but yeah. he has nice tiles and to go with it. And Peg looks good. I agree, yeah. yeah the CRS like believe goes very nicely, especially with that E, and I like how quickly he played it, because we've seen players get into yep. time trouble <laughs> already today. Yes. And Ari draws the first blank, so... I think there should be a bingo here, but I'm not seeing anything right off the bat. Um, I'm not seeing maybe, anything either. It's maybe not. Like the ninjis. Uh, yeah, yeah. The problem is, is he'd like a different vowel maybe to float through instead of a third right. Um So he's going to look for sevens. He'll look for eights through any of those three tiles could be possible. But yeah. um, one of so the fun suggest- things about commentating this game is that neither of us have quackle open so (laughs) hopefully uh by not having quackle open we'll be able to uh mimic how players are thinking about the game uh without having the benefit of the computer yeah exactly it's it's a good test too i have to be you know i can't rely on quackle can't just look at the you know quackle's option turn actually it's the thing um but yeah last turn joey pointed out matt could have played crept um it would have scored more points uh, obviously, you know, GS, the G is not a good tile. It's a worse leave, but yeah, maybe it wasn't worth such a sacrifice, um, to keep that more synergistic. I feel like CRS Ari would have played Krebs. Ari liking to play more like yeah. Crackle. I think, uh, with Matt's more defensive style, I think Peg was more what he wanted to do, especially against someone like Ari. And so Ari did not find a bin- bingo, only spent just over a minute, um, but if he didn't find a bingo, I like the decision to play gem, just leaving strong tiles to go with this blank. Yeah, I might have wanted to get rid of one of the ends. Um, and we can see he drew a third one, which is always a risk when you keep two of a tile. Um, maybe something like gen or men. I know men has some front hooks, but keeping that NG synergistic combination is sometimes tempting. Yeah, um, gen would make sense for that reason. I do agree there. Uh, and the M could help him if he didn't draw Bingo to score on his following turn. And these yeah. players continue to play at a breakneck pace uh, without even getting yeah, a chance seriously. to look at what Matt, Matt was thinking about. He plays War, again leaving four constants, this time not quite as balanced as when he had the R instead of the D. Yeah, that's a tough turn. Um, his vowel and A did not work to parallel Gem on the right side. So that was kind of one of his only plays that didn't use the S um, and seems fine. Um, It's always, it can be tough when you have a bunch of consonants and not many vowels to work with. Um, So here you can see that he could put an N in front of ape to form nape and build up to the left. He's not gonna be able to build too high, but it's the only (laughs) thing I've seen. Yeah. yeah, me as well, just den seems like kind of the only option. Yeah, he could play um, den or n, depending on if he wants to keep that yeah, D. Yeah, right. Um, um, hmm. Either way, he's going to be stuck with two n's going forward, I would think. And he will play the D. Yeah, um... That's I a tough one. We have an it. expert in the booth does... who might be able to give us some insight <laughs> as to yeah. whether he would have played that D there. Um, oh, hi. Sorry. Um, hi, guys. <laughs> we were hoping um, that, but I guess Josh will do just fine. Yeah, so according to just, <laughs> just um, like static equity, which is basically points plus leave, so the points that N would score versus Den, um, N actually has a value of like 0.3 better than, uh, than, than Den, but on this board, I don't really know if that makes much of a difference. I think taking an extra two points is, is fine. 
Uh, what I would say is by putting the D where, where um, Ari put it, he's allowing overlaps to double on the double word score. So cred would score six fewer points without, uh, without the D being there. So that's something to think about too. So maybe N was a slightly better play. Yeah, I think for that reason, I might have lent to N. Uh, Matt continues to play quick, plays cred, and that takes a difficult to spot front hook um, of the A for Akerd. So yep. Ari has two of them on his rack, and I do expect him to find bingos here. Yeah, I imagine he'll find something. Um, let's see, Alanine is an option. Um, yeah. That's the one that I something? was seeing too. Yeah, something to um, see that wouldn't, but I'm not seeing anything right off the bat. It would definitely be nice if he could double his play by making a play that goes far enough to hit the double word score. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Aeonian is also a seven. Oh, uh, yeah. But also but that the same issue of any... not, yeah. Right. Not and hitting that double word score. So with the S, it looks like asinine, but that would be two eyes. And it looks like he's found something. I Oh, is that Enkena? Oh, Enseenia. And yeah, however you say it, right? I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That looks so funny with the blank there. Yeah, yeah. It's um, a, it, that's, that's, that's a, right. That's a okay. plural word, I'm almost sure, because I remember it coming up in a game against Toronto's great Tony Leo. Um, mm -hmm. um, nice find there. And, that's does not jump yeah, out. Yeah, that's a very nice me. find. Yeah. And no surprise from Ari, who really has a good grasp, especially on the high probability yeah. words. And looking over yeah, to Matt, he has drawn like, into a yeah, bingo Yeah, he's going to bingo right back. Um, yeah. So this uh, word is where you play oh, this. Say, it's like a substitute fat that shows up in food products as a natural seven. Um, We'll give people a yeah. chance to look, see if they can find it. I'm sure Matt will. This is one of the most uh, high prob bingos in the dictionary. When people study words, they tend to do it based on probability order. So by having a lot of those common tiles, this word would come up quite a lot. And yeah. he's now, now the question up on is, do you play it there on top Ooh. of Encenia, putting the A in a really dangerous spot next to the triple? You could also play it hooking pegs. It'll certainly be fewer yeah. points there, but um, not giving up so many points back. I would have and played it with pegs. Been... That scares me, that spot. I... Sometimes if you open up yeah. two spots, it's not as dangerous, but the OI spot on the left side of Alestra is not nearly as dangerous as the A setting up. So that is not the sort of play I'd want to give up to Ari personally. Matt might have been thinking Ari just played all seven tiles, so his rack's going to be pretty random. Uh, we do see Ari's drawn a very nicely balanced rack, and his first thought will be, do I have some sort of a triple-triple uh, through the A hitting both the triple word scores? Yeah. I don't um, see I guess it. with the Olestra conversation, um, I would be more inclined to play something like that if it gave two big spots, if it opened up two yeah, exactly. scoring spots. The, the problem is OI only takes an M and a P and a K in front of it. None of those are letters that Ari or either of them is super likely to get. So there's really only one big spot that it opens. And generally, yeah. that would be um, something for Ari. Of course, this turn, he had Rizoling through the E in Encenia. And, and I, I don't know how to say Encenia. Um, and we'll be able to bingo through that. Instead, okay. Kenya, leaving the go ahead. Yeah, oh, I was just saying leaving the A open for Matt, so it worked yeah, out Matt this time, I guess. Yeah, he's probably going to play Jade, I would guess. Yeah, that spot thinking. seems like one you really want to address. All right. um, Looks like he might do Jane instead. He doesn't have. Oh, wait, but go oh on the left, I think the A is so dangerous that you probably played Jade. I would maybe, but. He's if actually were, set up pain because it's yeah. more balanced. He's just leaving C O E D. Yeah. If um, there were higher scoring overlaps with Olestra, like say that the S of Olestra was a vowel, I might try to right. take out that spot because you can only play th really most scoring plays will be through the A. It's less dangerous. 
um, and it might be worth keeping the more balanced leave of code as opposed to jade, which would keep C-O-A-E, um, which is more vowel heavy than you usually want. Um, um, sorry, what are Ari's full tiles here? I just have something over. Oh, um, oh, it's D-I-I-Q-T-U-U, -I -I yeah. Okay. Um, so hey, you guys, I'm a... back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you have <laughs> to tell us? I wanted to say, like, actually hi to people and, like, oh, not yeah. just, like, pop in and out awkwardly. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it turns out the A in Olestra isn't actually as dangerous as you might expect it to be uh by playing olestra in the spot that uh, matt played it he's actually only giving back a few extra points not nearly six which is uh the mm. difference in score between the pegs placement and the placement he chose so it actually um yeah it looks really dangerous but because there's no like big overlap potential because the st and the r are stuck together so you can't really go over the word uh, it's not actually as easy as you might think hmm. to score really well there. So it looks like Alessia was the best choice. I'll okay. I'll let you guys uh, no, and go back into no, the commentary. But, um, I, I did want to mention that. I've been thinking about Thank it you. for the entire time. Yeah, no, Josh is um, bringing us the Quackle insights from the computer program. And I think the Maybe one thing is that the average, it might not be six points. But the times you do get hit, you're probably going to get hit pretty hard. Yeah. Um, and Ari so did was able to cash in on the spot with Cade. Um, though obviously he had two U's on his rack, which usually go really nicely with the U. Um, but this time his high scoring play by a lot by a lot what he did not use either of those U's, so he's stuck with them this turn. Um and Matt oh, just okay, sort of dumping some tiles, I guess. It's interesting. I didn't have a chance to look too hard for other options for him. Um, yeah, I didn't either. I didn't expect uh, to break up such a promising rack so quickly, at least. But yeah, perhaps maybe there, there was just no other great options. options. Yeah, I'm not One seeing thing he's done else. is really set up a big double double lane to the left of the DO mm -hmm. of Escudo. Um, Ari doesn't have yeah. tiles to even consider such a play, but um, it is a big spot he has opened rather quickly. Mm -hmm. We can it's see one player already with yeah. all the vowels, and yeah. Matt's now drawn a bunch of heavy consonants. Yeah. Um, Morris pointing out that he could have played Kudes, C-O-U-E-S, Hook and Cade, using his S in addition to all others that he played, but for an additional, um, I think, like, 15 points. So or not quite, 13 points. Um, but that might have been, usually the S, people say it's worth around eight or nine points. Um, so it might have been youth, worth it here to use the S. And that's a beautiful find there by Ari with those yeah. nice overlaps, using that acred hook Very that nice. looked like it was almost out of play. Instead, he cleans up his, his terrible rack, scores nicely, and keeps the pressure on Matt. Um, Matt's now wow, drawn yeah. that P that hooks the OI. You were saying how um, that could come into play. So we could see something like bop in that spot, but Matt's going to keep looking for something better, perhaps. He also has the B that hooks Uriel to Burial. Um, so uh, like, he's not going to be able I to capitalize here, on yeah. this turn there, but it could be an option. Yeah, going I'd be forward. really looking to get rid of, oh, sorry. I'd be really looking to get rid of the V and W if possible. Those are definitely, oh, and oh, he has W O P instead of, which is actually a, yeah. oh, that's, that would be bad. Um, that was one of the expurgated words. So it is no longer acceptable in the NWL 20 dictionary, which I believe they're using. Um, I'm pretty so, sure they are. This yeah, they are. Right. And yes, yeah, so the slurs have been removed. And Matt, um, he's been busy the last couple of years, been in school, hasn't been able to stay on top of the game as much as he had in previous years. So maybe he's just not as familiar with uh, which words have been, like he'd probably know if we had stopped to tell him, but it's just so instinctual to play a short three letter word like that, that he's been able to use for over a decade. Right. Yeah, it's really hard to unlearn those words and 
even now after having been able to keep up playing and studying pretty regularly um, during the past few years, it's taken a while to get used to those not being acceptable. And even still, I get confused sometimes about certain words. Yeah, and so they do come up. Looks like he's changed to Bop. So maybe he Bob has realized. Make, yeah, Bop would be a nice play. It does get rid of that B that he would like to keep. Uh, very briefly, I don't know if you guys saw, Josh, our director, put a picture of a Uriel on the screen, another horned animal, <laughs> which seems to be the wow. theme of the day. It really is. Um, and why don't we bring in our other Josh, Josh Sokol, to analyze uh, the recent position. I'm glad you guys saw that Uriel. That was hilarious. Um, speaking of Uriel, <laughs> that play was uh, 15 points better than the next best option, yeah, according really, to yeah, the machine. Sure. If you don't that see so that yeah. play, you probably just are better off exchanging. That's how that, that, that play is like so much better than anything else. And so some people think, oh, you need to learn the bingos to be able to make a 50 point, uh, 50 point bonus after your play. But actually sometimes these short words that use up really bad letters, like duplicate use, for example, will, will, uh, really bring you way, way, way ahead of what you could have done if you didn't know the word. So Uriel, uh, huge, huge find there by, by Ari. And Bop, uh, we saw that Matt had the W instead of the B lined up, but he, he thought better of it, and he didn't, he didn't play the slur. But actually, the play of Bop, despite scoring three points less than, than WAP, is, uh, is close in value uh, uh, with, with, yeah. uh, with WAP. Because the V, W, E, S leave, the V and the B are so terrible together. Uh, the W and the V aren't great, but they're just that much better. So this isn't actually that big of a deal uh, to not have been able to play the W instead. That's all. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. Yeah. Thank it reminds you. me a bit of golf, where people put so much work into like their longer shots, their drives, but it ends up being the putting that often wins the game. So these <laughs> shorter words, shorter shots, can... Uh, really make a difference even if we thanks for the translation role. i love the sports yeah. analogies i love them <laughs> Don't ever thank stop. you like, <laughs> scrabble as much of a sport as anything as we see oik come down another newish word i believe yeah. uh he gets full value of that k by tripling it and sets up a lane starting with an a or an i and he has an i so that Could seems come to make into play fun. Um, and yeah, Matt is going to play Savvy. I think that looks really good. Um, he's been holding on to his S for a few turns, but if you're able to get rid of these at once and score so well in the process, um, I think, yeah, that definitely seems Absolutely. worth Absolutely. Having one V is bad enough, but having two is just like an indication yeah. <laughs> to jump them as soon as you can. And the VVY, they all double. You get the points from Jane. That just Yeah, I mean, it's, it's 40 points. Like Yeah. So Ari has the opposite issue where he has a lot of one point tiles, but it doesn't look like they're going to hit for a bingo. And this is a very difficult position to be in as a Scrabble player, because if you don't have points on your rack and you're close to a bingo, you don't want to break it up too much. Um, but you do have to find something to do. What yeah, would you be looking to do? You can't here, waste Chloe? all your time. I would try my the tiles I would want to get rid of immediately the most would be some combination yeah like out ideally okay um, yeah um looking for spots for that is what i would do first i see out hooking oy on savvy the problem with that is you can put an a at the end of out as well as an s and that makes right. it a really dangerous play and i probably would not opt to do that i'm not that um risk risky risk that double inclined. double lane is still scaring me a bit um yeah I Maybe look to play there, but you could also play into INTO. You could play it there. That's you could play true. it to the right of the K. It would leave UTE. I don't know what the vowel consonant ratio is, but that's not ideal. Um, mm -hmm. I agree that OUT would be the tiles you'd want to get rid of. We've been talking about leaves all day, and TINE is certainly uh, nice and balanced. He's now only ahead by 11 after Matt's big play of Savvy. Right, yeah, it's a very tight game. Um, and as we see, Matt has drawn some high scoring tiles. So that'll really swing in Matt's favor by a bit after this next turn. Um, 
but yeah, I guess what are some other options for Ari? I was thinking something like Junto um, from the J or Junto. Um, yeah, if that he wanted yeah, to yeah, do yeah, that's sort of the same problem yeah. of uh, yeah. Two you could play Tori T O Y and leave Unite, that's which true. is more bingo friendly. But when you don't bingo, um, he's going to be yeah, in the same you're stuck in the right same now. yeah. So uh, yeah, I think whatever he does, I would like to see that U off the rack if possible. The Q's yeah, already gone, totally. the worst vowel. You definitely want to also unduplicate the T's. So is there a way, if you can't play out, can you just play off T U uh, plus somewhere? one or two of the yeah. tiles? Maybe, that's why I was thinking. Like, Twee maybe? Um, yeah, we don't have crackle lower, that? but I know that Josh does. Maybe he can help us. <laughs> yeah, so I was saying in the chat, out isn't actually that bad of a play, uh, making OY. There are only two A's left, only one S left, uh, and there are 30, okay. 30 tiles total in scene. So it is uh, an aggressive play, um, and you don't have any of the hooks. So it is true that... Um, whose turn is it? It's Ari. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it's, it's true that Matt's probably going to get to the hook before you but um yeah maybe in a few turns but unity a really good suggestion by morris oh, you unity. It's safe oh, unity. Um, oh yeah i missed that i wanted to mention one thing that was cool i want to play like oud to the d in escudo because then if i draw a t i get remittent from the R. -E I was just thinking that's, that that's you all. were going to find some sort of extension <laughs> from REM. Oh, God. yeah but etui etui is also a good option at um, oh, yeah. making ed and to um, also not as dangerous as out, uh, but yeah, out, if you really, talking... if you really want it, you can do it. It's not a mistake. It's probably the best. Play. I don't love out. I like Etui there or unity. They would seem like probably the best plays that have been suggested. Uh, Will was saying earlier in the day that an I before a multiplayer square is not as dangerous as all the other vowels because it really only gets hit hard by an F. Um, That's true. but I do believe both Fs are unseen to Ari. So it is something this... you might consider. Yeah, at this score, like it's really difficult because the game is so close, um, and you really want to be the first person to get the next bingo because there probably will be another bingo this game. Uh, the board is is has some life left to it, so being being closer to a bingo is actually a really good really good thing in this position. So uh, being maybe a bit more aggressive rather than a little bit more, I don't know, um, like careful with something like Itui and or Unity is maybe the mark of a of a, a beast player maybe right. a uriel yeah, a uriel like he definitely player. has he has gone on a more careful route with junto junto um yeah. it's and, a good play all right yeah back to i'm you guys. fine with that yeah it's, it's good for short-term defense it's not really giving anything back right yeah. away it did blow up, blow up the rack but he's drawn nicely uh to his leave but yeah, first I mean, we get to look at matt's position yeah. right yeah. So Matt has the W, X, Y, three letters in a row in the alphabet. They all score quite a bit. And mm -hmm. with that, he's got some nice bingo tiles. Yeah. Uh, so where, like, he could just play something like EX at the top. Uh, you could play XI right. parallel to a scudo. He definitely yeah. would like to get rid of the W. Can he get play somewhere Y, E, W? Get rid of sort of is less friendly tiles? Um, nowhere great. Um, I think EX at the top seems pretty good. Um, yeah, maybe he's it looks like you set setting up time. XI instead. They probably um, score about the same. Yeah, that's interesting. Before. I wonder, I, it would probably depend somewhat on how many E's versus I's are left in the right. bag for me. Um, though I think EX is a few more points. Um, I think they're about the same, maybe one or two points different. Okay. But I don't have it pulled up. Okay. Um, but yeah, either it's 36 way, the versus strategy, 33. Okay, yeah. Either way to get rid of the X plus one of the vowels makes sense. The E W E R Y leave would play pretty well going forward mm -hmm. in that it would allow him to score, whereas Ari's leaves have been much more dependent on bingos. What I like yeah, about XI now, leave actually yeah, is that it's taking out the bingo lane, right? Like yeah. he's not leaving such great bingo tiles, 
whereas Ari sort of looks like maybe he's fishing. And so taking out that big double double lane seems very smart. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, Ari played four tiles last turn, so it's not like clearly fishing, but you know from that sort of play, he only has one point tiles, and he probably kept somewhat bingo friendly um, leave with that. So, yeah, I think it makes sense to sacrifice a couple points and take out the major bingo threat on this board um, next to Escudo. So, yeah. So for Ari now, he finds himself down for the first time, at least in quite so many turns. He could play something like Earth uh, on the right side of the right. board, but that would leave EE. He could continue his yeah. fishing approach, looking to play off H and one of the duplicate E's and maybe one more bowel. Um, there are so many different ways you can play this, and these little turns really do separate top players. Uh, yeah, Aki, I guess Aki is sort of in the middle of there. Earth. Yeah, I think exactly. that makes sense, yeah. Yeah, I remember talking to Ari about this, and he said he he's not a fan of fishing, so he's not one that you'll see getting, like, small scoring plays. Um, yeah, he almost never fishes. Um, as as if he has, like, like a higher player. scoring option. Yeah, but I think he Aki might fish when he has, like, a middle. great six-tile leave, like fishing off one. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah. playing a bit shorter Nothing other where than it could that go isn't wrong. really his style. Okay. And he's yeah. drawn very nicely, uh, although does anything quite hit there? Uh, it feels like mm, these players have been in the same good. position a few turns in a row, whereas Ari is so close to being in with maybe one higher scoring tile, like the H, now the B. And Matt has some higher scoring tiles and is looking for a place to play them. And as Matt thinks about it, we're going to bring in Josh to discuss that last Ahi turn. Yeah. So Matt's and playing wine. wine, as he could have yeah. played last turn. Actually, the play of yeah. XI, the play of wine, and the play of EX, the three plays that I think people were looking at in the position are all very good. Uh, and I think it was really just about the approach you want to take. I believe that because Ari played Junto, instead of making a more aggressive play of out, it allowed Matt to decide to play XI to block one of the threats on the board that he might not have done after the play of out. Uh, because there would have been multiple threats. But by sealing sealing the line that XI sealed, um, it makes Ari more likely to make a play like Ahi to try and fish, which he doesn't like to do. But I think your suggestion of Aerith um, was really good, uh, Jared. That's probably the best play in the position. It scores six more points in the same spot as Ahi, and it does not fish. It does keep two E's, but vowels are scarce at this point. And it really gets you closer to trying to draw that last blank, which is going to be really key in this position. So back to you guys. Yeah, I agree. The person who yeah. draws the last uh, blank in this game is very Ooh. likely to win. And that's a big play here. Yeah, that's huge. The board. Because when we look at and Matt's Matt rap, is he has a seven, back. And it wasn't going to fit <laughs> without this lane that Ari has now just opened. But Ari leaving yeah, tries, T-R-I-E-S, uh, can definitely bingo back. So we'll see what he draws. And okay, he, will, yeah, he, he draws the blank. blank and the so if and Matt before finds we continue, bingo, we should be we have a note from our yeah. uh, director, Josh Greenway, noting that as we're talking about Ahi as a fishing play, Ahi itself is a fish. Um, Very true. The type of tuna, Can we get a of picture course. of a fish on the screen? Yeah, so where's the seared Ahi, Ahi tuna? Yeah, and come on. And you're supposed to be sending it to our apartment as like an Uber Eats type <laughs> of uh, tweet here. Yeah. Uh, so AHI is good in Scrabble and AJI is a type of chili. So mm -hmm. both food words. Um, Matt now has Elytron set up on his rack. And yeah, that'll help. The weight I think he's d debating I... where to play it with BEY yeah. or BET. Yeah. Um, I would probably, he... let's see. I feel like yeah, taking the points makes as sense. Might think initially. But... Oh, we got a picture yeah. of a bass. I don't know if that oh, quite very counts, quick. but <laughs> because of all the great work that Let's Play Scrabble's done, we're going to allow it. Um, yeah, where would you play this? Bay does take an S if you play it with the B E Y. Um, right. I think I sort of like it playing it to the left. Uh, it scores yeah, I agree. a bit less because the Y is not doubling, but it feels a bit safer because you're not placing that N where he placed it. What do you think, Josh? 
I Josh think always that takes in the he end, this is the correct placement of Elytron because simply because of Ari's last play of BE. If you were just playing against a random rack, you had no information about what rack that Ari might have here, you would really want to shift the play over one spot uh, to score three fewer points because of what is unseen to you. I'm going to type that in the chat on YouTube. That Z, see, I'm saying Z. Take notes, Chloe. Uh, that Z yeah. is really, really dangerous. Something like Zins or Zona, Zone, Zine. Tons of plays, and even without the Z, you can score a million points in that spot. Uh, maybe not a million, but um, it's very dangerous. But after the play of BE, you specifically know that your opponent does not have um, the Z with that play and probably not any high scoring letters either. So in this specific instance, I think you take the points. Back mm -hmm. to you guys. Great analysis yeah. by Josh and a great example of why it's important to read what your opponent's doing. Um, I like to write out the plays that my opponents are making during the game and then it gives you a list to look at uh, and you can see, oh, look, they only played two tiles last turn, three tiles the turn before, like they're really getting close. Uh, but Ari's now gone really low on clock. He's under seven minutes. He will find a bingo, but he wants to make sure to find the best one. Yeah, um, I think this is a time when he shouldn't beneath. take. Yeah. yeah, he can't take too long because he's going to want to save yeah. time for the end game and the pre-end game, the most important. Yeah, parts and when you of have a bingo, time. you can waste a lot of time, or especially with a blank, looking for the best one. But yeah, when we're getting so low and getting to the end game, um, you don't want to waste too much time on like what will. Oh, um, he's not be a if he bingo here, he's emptying the bag though, so that's a big consideration. Oh, oh okay, that okay. Did not realize the number left and our production crew is um, telling us that the unseen the tiles in the bag are fuh unseen to ari would be oh, yeah. fuh plus uh it matza on matt's rack so it's very difficult he might not even want to bingo here because um he's down like we have to start doing some math here i don't know if people are awake enough for math but he's down 73. Yeah, so bingo will put him up slightly um not not much though the highest score. He could bingo. win with some three tile draws after a bingo, but FUH would not be one of them. So if he bingos here, I think uh, he's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, what do you play something like fine or just F E? So there's two in the bag. I think just... maybe it looks like he's oh, gonna play two in the bag. Okay. Right okay. I, I was thinking maybe he had to play something with just two tiles to leave one in the bag and leave two yeah. spots. So like E F below the end of Elytron to set up a second lane. I don't know if that would be enough. Like, I'd be um, wanting to use more time than Ari did here. That's for sure. Um, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't realize that the bag would was so close to empty. Um, yeah, I might do Fe. I think there's enough spots on the board um, that there are two lanes, keeping IRST blank, um, where he doesn't need to really set up another. So taking the points might be more important than you said. Ef, right? Uh. Yeah, EF below, because set up yeah. a new lane or FE. Uh, yeah. You'd have to really start doing the math and figuring out yeah. what can he score. Um, he wasn't in a great position, even though he had the blank. Just being down 72 uh, and knowing that Matt, after the bingo, was going to get tempo makes it very difficult for him. And so now yeah, he has yeah. Matza set up on his rack. Matza, yeah. Matza. Um, Matza takes a T, so he could play it to a T somewhere. He could play tea. it. Where else? Where is he planning to play this? Is there a great spot? I mean, he can just. Maybe do, he's you just know. playing it next to Ahi going down. Yeah, I think something like his, or at least, I mean, he has. Let's see. I guess I would need to do the math. Um, um, well, Josh has the advantage of Quackle, so it's a good time to bring yeah. him into the party. <laughs> Okay, I'm not going to spoil the position, but if Matt plays Matzo and M.I., like you might be thinking about, the I and Ahi, uh, our favorite fish of the day, it actually loses him the game because of the fact uh -huh. that Matzo has so many hooks. You can put right, the uh, H the on H. it, but you can also put the H. So U-H and Matzo, trying to pronounce that H for oh, you guys wow. at home, will win Ari the game. 
if Matt does that. But he has 10 minutes. So I'm hoping that he realizes that he can just win by playing something like Tiz. And now it looks probably. like he has Tiz yeah. set up. Yeah, Tiz Adam, looks really good. A couple spots. The best that makes a play, lot more sense to me. The best play in this position, guys, you're probably not going to find it. Um, but it is T-I and T-I for four oh, points. Oh, man. Setting up. Okay. Setting no. up. And with F-U-H, so good. you can not do block almost it. nothing to block. Oh, wow. But Yeah, to think of that and to be so. sure of that, you know, that would make me, like, have to recheck my tracking and everything just to make sure. Um, so, and, Josh, and while we have you... To do that. Should Ari have bingoed on the fustier turn? That is a really good question. Um, I think that it might have been slightly better to play FE, like Chloe was uh, thinking. Matt, yeah. actually, with nine minutes and a half, he is confident enough that this play wins because he, he has tracked properly. Wow. He knows that he's setting up Matzo and Moat with M I O E and A R uh, atop of fustier. So he knows. Uh, very, very confidently that he's winning this game, uh, which is going to put him uh, two to three in the series, which is a very, very important win here. But um, yeah, FE on the Fustier turn um, might have been better because of the fact that there are multiple spots to play. And it uh, scores to play enough to keep him in range. Yeah. Uh, but who it's really knows? These up. positions are very yeah. difficult to analyze. Um, even computers have a lot of trouble. Uh, analyzing a three three tile in the bag uh, position like that, and it just turned out that the fuh draw was just not one of the draws that would win the game. But I think that around half of the time, uh, it was sort of a coin flip. Around half of the time, Ari draws either outplays that can't be blocked, which will which will be good enough to win, or um, enough points to uh, to win the game regardless. Uh, regardless so uh this was definitely a, a, a slightly bad beat i would say for ari i think he might have been slightly favored with his play but he might have been able to siphon off a little bit more winning chances uh by not uh been going on the first year turn but i'm not yeah, sure can, and neither is it can be really hard to pass up a bingo and our computer programs continue to get better by the day so we have macondo coming out soon we hope and that'll help us analyze such positions but for now Matt is going to sneak out a very tight victory uh, as we get the final score loaded up for you. Yeah, so I I'm, believe I <laughs> the final score is. We got it. <laughs> 456 to 433. So by 23 points, Matt pulls out um, a nice victory.